Hey everybody, this is Ralph. Uh, I had to turn the flashlight on because it's still kind of dark out. If it was daylight, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. But we got the car started, and uh, it turned out it was the starter. And we had it tested three times, so I don't understand why. I think the uh, solenoid may have been bad. So, but I wanted to show you a few things, you know, and something cool. Yeah. Yes, there's the push button, and I'll show you that in a second. As you see, it turns. There's a the light. Yeah, flashing light. And uh, I'll close the door and open the window. Let's turn the key on. It might help. But I still got to put everything back together, stuff like that. But I hooked up the uh, thing. Which I can keep from making it fall. But I uh, put everything together and I put this on. And uh, I'm going to have to drill a hole for the thing where the ignition is. And put it right there. Unless I decide to put it on top. If I got room at the top I'll just put it up here. So that way, you know, it could be right there. But I could actually put it on top. And make it seem like you got to do it this way to start it up so people can't try just try to start it or whatever but uh see anyways i'm gonna do it by the key first and as you can see the light went out let me do it again take the key out okay you see the light flashing and the, there goes the uh see it turns off it starts right up And any time I drive, I always let it warm up. But I did get this to work, and I'm going to show you that in a second. Let's see. It's warming up. And I took my grandson to daycare. Took a while to get it recharged. So it starts right up. And I got to get the uh, clock. But now I'm going to turn the key on. But I'm not going to turn it on. Okay, now watch. Right here. It takes a minute for it to kick on, but it kicks on. But it does work. See, watch. Let's do it again. Just so you know that not somebody's not messing with it. Let me put this over here. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn this on. Okay, it's on. And then nobody's messing with the key. It starts right up. I just wanted to show you that I did actually do it. And nobody, and it's not a joke. So some people will put it on there and they'll play around. But uh, there you go. And uh, somebody said about the door locks, which I think they're full of it. But I'd like to try that and see. I'm going to take the key out just in case because I don't have no fob to open the doors. But I'm going to do that lock thing that they were talking about. I think you do it twice, three times, three times, or four times, and then one time. Let's see. Okay, the door's locked. Okay. One, two, three. I think it was three on this side. One, two, three. Uh, I have to go back to the video. But anyways, I did get it running. I just don't have a key fob to do everything in. The only fuse that I found when I was doing it was a blown fuse for the trunk, and I changed that. And No, everything is working on here. But you can hear the thing. Go on. Turn the key on. Do the thing. Where is it? Uh-huh. I think the first time was because having it off. But now I can do the push button. And one reason why I decided to do the push button was because of when you turn the key, you know, you have to put pressure on it. So what I was thinking was that instead of trying to force the key to turn and messing up the ignition switch, just turn.